Kido and stand here in front. Uh, one by one will step in front. You step up, Reverend Simon Pembiria Yesu, Director of Mission at Outreach. Next. Uh, Mr. Stephen Angara Ocheng, the Program Officer for Directorate of Health. Sayas Esabo, who is in uh, Thank you. Richard Akugwe, our IT officer. Jonathan Mwanguzi, a vehicle evangelist. Samuel is our IT officer. Mr. Mohen and Director of Finance and Investment. Reverend Andrew, Director of Household and Community Transformation. Adia Kachemeire is our monitoring and evaluation. Mrs. Barbara Bavazi, Accounts Assistant. Reverend Susan Stera Ameso, Administrative Assistant to the Archbishop. Mr. Frida Ahumuza Nyakato, the Secretary to the Provincial Secretary. Joyce Runyoro, Assistant. Mr. Moses Mbogo is our counter. Mrs. Eunice Ogwal Abaro, she works in accounts office. Mr. Andrew Fred, he's our all around manager's office. He takes care of every corner of the office. Your Grace, my name is Sadiki Adams, and by the grace of God, I am the communications officer. Your Grace, the reason why we came here not using a tent is because as the Church of Uganda, we have been and we are still in the environment weeks. And so we are here under the trees to inform our people that uh, we can do away with tents. We can have our functions under the trees if we plant trees now for the future to have shade. That's why we are here and we thank you for giving us your palace to come and listen to your Easter message of 2024. May I now take this singular honor to welcome the Reverend Canon Captain William Ongeng, the Provincial Secretary of the Church of Uganda, to give his remarks and in turn welcome His Grace the Archbishop to address us. Thank you. Your Grace, this morning I want to thank God for giving us life and I want to thank God for every one of us here present and I want to thank God that this beautiful scenario this morning has invited us to stay outside. So that's why we are still speaking about tree growing and we are speaking about tree care until these trees grow up to maturity and they will provide for us this. 
I want to take this opportunity and a singular one to welcome you all this morning in this beautiful ambience of the Archbishop's Palace and also want to thank you that you have uh, added to the call to the Archbishop's Easter message which is going to be uh, given to us this morning. And I also want to take this opportunity also uh, to urge us that this week we are in is a holy week and this is a week of personal prayer and personal commitment and also our surroundings commitment. We cannot just do prayers for ourselves when our neighbors also need an opportunity to uh, listen to the gospel of God. So uh, well, I want to thank the band and I believe they are going to play before before I invite his grace because this is the week of praise and week of worship. So may I invite the band to stand up and play one song, then I will invite his grace to give an address to the nation. Please ban. Thank you so much. A big clap for this band. Uh, this band are the Boys and Girls Brigade, the first Mango Company in the Diocese of Namirembe. We clap for them again. Your Grace, we are also using this opportunity to remind the Church of Uganda members who are members of the Provincial Assembly that such a gathering, we shall not forget to remind them that on the 20th to 23rd of August this year, 2024, there is going to be the Provincial Assembly, which will take place at uh, Uganda Christian University. So begin to prepare for this day. So with these few remarks, may I now take this singular honor and opportunity to invite His Grace, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, the Most Reverend Dr. Stephen Samuel Kazimba Mugalo, to come and address us on this Easter day and address the world. You are most welcome, Your Grace.
Uh, let me appreciate my brother, the Reverend Canon William Ongeng Cheswa, for <laughs> for introducing me very well. Uh, dear uh, media evangelist here present, thank you very very much for coming. Uh, our band, the, the the best. Thank you very much for coming to join us. Ministers from Secretariat, to God be the glory, great things he has done. Fellow Ugandans, and all God's people near and far, praise God from whom all blessings flow. The Bible narrates the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, this is captured in all Gospels, but I want to share from Luke chapter 24, from verse 5 and 6. When the women came to the tomb, they asked, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He is not here. He is risen. That is a very relevant question. That's why one of my favorite Easter hymns is Because He Lives, I Can Face Tomorrow. Because He Lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future, and life is worth the living just because he lives. I love that song. Easter proclaims that Jesus is alive. His empty grave is a proof of it, the empty tomb is just a message itself. He is alive. That's why the last line of the first verse says, an empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives. Jesus' resurrection is God's declaration that everything Jesus said Above himself, about, about himself is it true. Whatever Jesus said about himself is it true. Many people today are not trustworthy. But Jesus is trustworthy. You can entrust your life, your future, and your eternal destiny to him. When God raised Jesus from the dead, he also declared that he values life. Death is no longer the last word, and death no longer has the last word. So there is always hope and we need that hope. Hope beyond the grave. Hope beyond this world. Hope in Christ alone, the one who lives forever and ever. Amen. Dear ones, we want to offer our condolences to those who have lost their dear ones, their loved ones, since last Easter. We especially remember Bishop Professor Michael Solomon Indaura Senyimba, the retired Bishop of Mukono, who was also the Vice Chancellor 
of Ndeje University. Our own, our own professor, who was a land bishop with a PhD in botany. We offer our condolences to Reverend Mama Esther Najinda Namukasa Senyimba and he and, and the entire family of the diseased. Be assured that he is not only resting in peace, but that with Jesus he has also risen in glory. Death does not have the last word. Death does not have the last word. We also need hope in the face of climate change. This year's dry season was especially hot and we've been told to expect more weather extremes in the future. That means we shall get we shall that means we shall get more rain which leads to more flooding and more drought. We want to thank the office of the Prime Minister and our partners, Compassion International, AEE, and others, for developing a five-year disaster risk management plan. As Church of Uganda, we pledge to support the effort, particularly in the affected regions. The Church of Uganda is also promoting environmental awareness and we just completed a week of focused activities to sensitize our communities on the need to be good stewards of God's creation. We shall have another week of environmental awareness later this year. We need to preserve and conserve our environment, but more so protecting our lands from land grabbers by planting trees. And these days we have land grabbers and we have church grabbers, uh, like in Ikumi. Uh, corruption is rampant in our society, and it is leading to destruction of our Mother Earth, and it hinders development. This is the corruption. We should fight it. It deprives us of proper service delivery. May the risen Lord set free many in the prison of corruption in every office. Corruption kills hope. Corruption kills the hope. We should focus on development. As much as there is terrible fighting and war taking place in many parts of the world, I am equally concerned about the ongoing conflicts, wars, and insecurity in our own region, especially in South Sudan, in Sudan, and Eastern DRC. We continue to receive and care for many refugees whose displacement seems very unnecessary. However, we thank the government of Uganda for their policy and the approach to caring for our neighbors. They need even more hope. The only kind of hope that can come from a resurrection. I thank our dioceses and churches in the host communities for supporting and encouraging our neighbors displaced from their homes. As a country, we also live under the constant threat of terrorist attacks from some of the same groups in the DRC, 
that are systematically killing people for ethnic and religious reasons. Just because CNN and the BBC do not feature 24-hour co coverage of this crisis on our borders, does not mean it's not serious. I urge us to pray into the hope that Jesus' resurrection gives for peace, stability, and security. Dear ones, our children also need hope for a better future. Our children, our children, in our commitment to end gender-based violence, particularly among girls, I have been known to advocate for the boy child. When we support our boys to learn how to respect the dignity of girls and women, we will make a lot of progress in reducing gender-based violence. The Bible says that men and women are equally made in the image of God. This is captured in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 27. We must teach our children to respect others and resolve conflicts without resorting to violence. Dear ones, let us learn to resolve conflicts without resorting to violence. To parents, this also means that husbands and wives need to stop fighting each other, ex exchanging angry, hateful words and brawls before your children. This definitely traumatizes them. Children learn more by what they see their parents do than what their parents tell them. I urge husbands and wives to learn better ways of resolving conflict than fighting each other. And these days even women are aggressive. They have been equipped in Taekwondo. They know how to fight men. I was shocked by the behavior of some people in Kumi who were hired by the reformed cult to carry sticks to church in a mob to block people's entrance uh, to worship. And they have confiscated a number of churches. These churches belong to the Anglican Church of Uganda. This cult started three years ago. These churches have been there 50 years ago, 40 years ago. You cannot be the owner. This is totally unacceptable behavior. I want to thank Bishop Michael Okui Esakan and his team in the Kumi Diocese for seeking a peaceful resolution to the conflict in Kumi. I appeal to the government to intervene with the local politicians in Kumi who appear to be fueling the conflict. Uh, and this is really not good. The government of Uganda is here to protect Ugandanese and their, be, and, and, and their uh, properties, but also their rights. I think this is the time to be practical. I also congratulate the Diocese of Ruero for getting their new bishop peacefully last Sunday, which was Palm Sunday. I am so grateful to Bishop William James Sebagarawarusimbi for his willingness to come out of retirement and serve on my behalf as the caretaker bishop for the past one year. I thank him for his wise guidance to them to the point when they could joyfully receive their new bishop, Bishop uh, Wilson Chiseka. As the hymn says, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. 
when God raised Jesus from the dead, death no longer had the last word. Death no longer had the last word. There is now always a reason to have hope. And the hope won last Sunday in Luero is an indicative of a risen Lord. Hope can also win in your life. When you put your faith and trust your life to the resurrected Lord, Jesus Christ. No one else in the whole world has ever been raised from the dead like Jesus. He is the only one who can give hope to us in the challenges we are facing in this life. Dear ones, we send our warm Easter greetings to the President of the Republic of Uganda, His Excellency, General Yoel Kaguta M7, and his dear wife, Mama Janet, all government leaders, all members of parliament, the judiciary, to all the security organs, and all Church of Uganda partners, and to all leaders of different uh, uh, categories. I also greet all bishops and their wives, the clergy, the leaders, and the Christians of the Church of Uganda. Finally, I send my sincere greetings with the prayers for a blessed Holy Week and a glorious Easter for our Roman Catholic, Orthodox, and the Pentecostal brethren. And to all of, all of those who have put their trust and faith in the crucified and risen Lord Jesus Christ. This Easter as a country, in our families, may we all know this truth about Jesus. Because he lives, we can face tomorrow, have a blessed Easter. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bana Uganda banange mbalamusiza Eranja gala okubayo za ezo kutuka ku mazukira gano nti azuki de babo ya gamba zona na yo yakate muruke sura abiri munya Enye litano ne mukaga abachala bali we bakera ku kuntana ne basanga ba malaika malaika na babuza <coughs> munonye zachi omulamu mubafu echo no chikwa takana bulunji no ruyimba lwenja gale nnyo alogamba anti kubanga wali kubanga mulamu sinza kutia nchia because he lives i can face tomorrow. Kumanga wali mulamu manye chisele chomaso cha dembe. Uh, obubaka obuku zukira kwa yesu kupasika uh, bula ganti entana talimu. Entana njerere. Era okuzukira kwa yesu kutulaga bulu unji nti bulichi ya yogera ya chitu ukiriza boya gamba anti nja kufaya fa boya gamba nja kuzukira era ya zukira echo no chitu esubi ne mubisera ebyo maso ngabo ya gamba anti alikoma ona atwala era twina okumwesunga chino no chitegeza nti okufa tekuchi alina chigambo cha nkomeredde okufa tekuchi alina chigambo Chanko mele de chisemba yo. Waluo esubi elisinga esubi yo na. Esubi elisinga amagombe. Esubi elisinga chewali yolo waze zako kumunsimu no. Kuwanga mulamu, norwecho nange njakubera o. 
wano tusa asira wa fili duwa bona hawa fili duwa kabantu na dala kwa fili duwa muna bilizi uh, bishop professor Michael Solomon indaula senyimba ya liyo muna bilizi we mkono atela jiavana abeda uh, mkule mbeze wa university yendeje ya tufudeko taba demu untu mkugu nyo na dala musayansi Yali ya kuguka mu bya bimera ebyo nebirala je bai PhD yali ya mu botany Norwecho tusasira mama Reverend Esther Najinda na mukasa senyimba ne family ya bishop kale njaga to guarantee taumude buumuzi ne mirembe na ye yasumusibwa okugenda Mchifoche cholubela. Kubanga okufa. Tekucha ina chigambo. Chianko merede. Echisembayo. Wanono njaga lati tuloze. Neku obigambo. Yiku wata kubutonde. Obwensi. Esubi ni afirino genda kusinga na o. Enaku zino tulumbidua. Embera enzivu. Omusano guwaka. Pereketia. Abantu tebalina mmere tulina amataba tulina ebintu bingi kitegeza mtu waino obuzibu ku butonde emiti jitemwa abantu bachafa yo kubula mu bwabwe ne no butonde na yefu anonge kanisa ngatuita mu kitongole chafe echebye nkula kulana na dala okutuka ku muntu wa wansi tubadde mu mu Ekuwa ata kukuru, kusome saba antu, nukuwa igiriza, nukuwa jukiza, obulu unji buwe miti, obulu unji buwe butonde. Ela tuwebaza, uh, office ya prime minister, ya teka uo, uh, uh, engeri, eyo kulaba antibalu wanyisa, uh, okuteme miti, nebifana. Na ina fekanisa, tulimaso kunsongeno. Ela tuchagira maso, tuwa dene wiki namba kunsongeno, Atena ni musebu temba tuja kufuna wichi endala kusongeno. Kale njaga lukuwa saba. Katonda tuyambe. Tuwe moku teme ya emiti. Ate wabango no teme emiti. Eji kuze nyo maloku simba. Ate wabanga ofunyo rubuto gomchala. Simba o emiti ngevi ni nadala bolo zanto inabarongo. Chikusoboze se. Habana haba ukulie bibala. Nga bakuze. Nga teba nazari wa. Na, na mwaba saja angwa mchala u oteke dalirubuto. Simba omuti. Mungeri inge. No kubatiza. Simba omuti. Avalabi rizi okusake mikono. Musimbe miti ye jenkana. Na abantu ye mutadeko e mikono. Tioke tusobole. Okuluwa nyisa. Uh, embere nembi. Kale no waduwe chielate chenda biwano. Enguzina yesu se. Kati enguzira bikange chintu echaburi jo. Muna ngeri ya mantua abali nguzi. Nga tebache hafa kubanawe. Nga abali anga batali anga kuo. Neba vabira. Neba vabira nabala. Walu waba vabira. Neba vabira nabala alabambi. Abali obubi. Kale chisela chino nga tuli mupasa, mupasa ken. Aba vabira mweko meko. Mweke nabala bali yeko. Kale. Aba ganda bagamba. Onaria. No naria yemere oma. Kale, gweria no naria. Na iba naria. Enguze genze wala. Tusaba. Echigambe chikwata kunguzi. Tuchiruanyi se. Elan sabira abantu wawo. Abali mukome la li enguzi. Mukama abasumulule. Kupasi keno. Waluwa nechizibwe chila. Tuinaba nafe. Abanonyi bobo budamu. Okuva e South Sudani. Okuwa Sudan na walala. Kale. Wade wano. Uh, zino zi television zino. Tezo gira nyo. Kuntalo zinezili ya wafe. Ku BBC ne CNN. Na yentelo wezili. Na munu umafe mwini mwa bantu. Abe, abe, abe somie. Okulaba anga wako saa. Batu usobulabe. Kubantuba fe wano. Mchisela anga chino. Echa pasika. Tusaba katonda. Achi usaba antu wabo. Abana bafe, banange uh, yesubi, yesubi ya femumaso, tusaba, 
katonda tuyambe mwa basajja bakuba bakazi mulekera na mwa bakazi abavuma abavuma basajja ne mubavuma ne mubaleka ne muvumira mulekera kale no na eliona abakazi nakuzi na basoma taikondo bakuba basamba abasajja ne mwe kuba ne mwe vuma bali paske no mwe kuba wachi bifu bya bya nyama okusinga okwevuma nsaba muse htiwa mu mwana omuwala na yate te mwera bila mulenzi kubanga mulenzi ono gwe bale sema bega ya joku wa somwa nono omuwala kale nsaba tulwanyise nnyo obukubagano no bunyolagano makka abazadde nsaba mulekera okulwana gana waliwe nakuzino ekibba taka na yate walone ne kibba makanisa echo no kiri 10 waliwa abantu amu akabina akeita na kakenzi kiriza balumba makanisa ne biso ne bijambia ne bagoba mu abantu baffe 10 abonno ne bawambeka ne bawandika ko nilinyala abenti reform the church engeri osi abwa katonda era na fo tuba de tuba ku bintu ebi nuno cyo nsaba kubanga kana akana akaniki ni yako kakatandika emyaka esatu ejisa akakaruti uh, yako e kanisa affairs e kanisa zimu zebawambye za kamale miyaka 5 miyaka 4 miyaka 5 kati bano bafuka batye bananyi kale lokuba government eriwo okukuma omuntu ne bintu bye ne dembere nsaba yingire mu nsonge na dala ngaba ateba ba bayamba ba abantu abo abali mu bitundu ebyo bana bya bufuzi atabe gatta ne na, na, ne banafaba sabiti ise twabadde ne banafaba eruwero tubayoza ayoza olokufuna mulabirizi bishop ulisa nkiseka eransa ba tukatonda wo mu kisa bishop sebagala akumye abantu abo eransa ba mukama fenatu kume atuwo mu kisa tegerenti kubanga mulamu esubira fe weriri ndeto kulamusa eran perezo kulamusa kafero mu kulembeze yogwanga ne mama esige damuzi ba member ba parliament abalabirizi na bachala abaule na bakristayo ababulizi atera ne banafa benzi kiriza ekikatulichi eyabalumi eyerumi ne ba orthodox ate na ba pe, na ba pe, na ba na balamu na tubasabide nsaba mukama awo mukisa atwa mukisa ku mundi guno uh, pasken ebere ya subi ubulamu bwafe tuzukirwa mune Yesu kubanga mulamu siti aluna kulwancha kubanga manyi Yesu ayinange munyera kitafe no mwana no mwemtukuvu amen Uh, this is another statement, uh, our statement on uh, yellow fever. Uh, dear ones, Uganda lies within the yellow fever transmission zone in Africa and it has experienced several outbreaks. In addition, it has a low immunization coverage uh, against yellow fever. This exposes the population to the risk of contracting yellow fever disease. In a bid to eliminate yellow fever from Uganda, the Ministry of Health has planned to conduct yellow fever preventive mass vaccination campaign in five regions which include Greater Kampala, Masaka, Ankole, Teso, and Kalamoja, covering 53 districts. The campaign will be conducted from 2nd April to 8th 
April, 2nd to 8th April, and the target person is aged one year up to 60 years. So if you are between one year to 60, you are in the age group. You, you check yourself. Yellow fever is transmitted through the bite of an infected mosquito, and the following are the signs and symptoms. Rapid onset of fever, abdominal pain, diarrhea, vomiting, general body weakness, yellowing of the eyes, loss of appetite. When you are be beginning to lose appetite, take care. And breathing from any body openings. Yellow fever is a dangerous disease, but can be prevented through vaccination with the yellow fever vaccine. The key benefit of yellow fever vaccination is that a person gets one injection for lifetime protection. One injection for lifetime protection. Take note of that. The yellow fever vaccination campaign will be conducted at all health facilities and designated outreach posts which include churches, mosques, schools, local administrator's office, bus parks, uh, landing sites, market areas, border crossing points. Appeal. The Minister of Health appeals to religious leaders to mobilize their congregation to participate in the yellow fever preventive mass vaccination campaign in the places of worship and at functions such as weddings in the community. So if you are whispered to uh, or if you are led to have an injection before you go for uh, a party after the wedding, you just accept. It is one injection for long life protection. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Baguitabacha, Guankaka. A Musujaguno or Guankaka. A Nakuzino, where Gurino Guajanjero, Mubitundu Yafuano. Nadaraku, Kurukaru, Rabaka Dugara. Suanabaka Dugara. Tulumbi Duanio, a Virad de Radevio. Baka Dugara number Africa. A Ngato Jekecho, Tetulina. Uh, we are before we inji, we bagemera, or we were dove, or we in caca. No rich about to a fee, never bang about him which said that she's evil, a chocolate war, or we were devil, or which are senior. Mukawa Fube, Wokuani Sabura Devono, a ministry of Yoburam, a Tadeo, a Okugema, Kungo. Okugema kwe chikungo kwa kujia kutuwa la uh, uh, amabendo bendo ga, ga minundi etano. Amabendo bendo ga minundi etano. E bendo bendo elie Kampala. E bendo bendo elie Masaka. E bendo bendo elie Ankole. Teso, Kalamoja. E chono nga chujia kutuwa li ramu districti atano musatu. Uh, okugema kuno okwe chikungo kuliba onga okufanga bili okoma ogwo munana uh, okufanga bili okoma nga munana omwezo ogwo kuna bili enakuzo omwezi bili okoma ku munana omwezo ogwo kuna era abantu abakugemebwa bagwa mu myaka ji omwako ogumu nokoma ku myaka enkaga woboli wakati yao ogwa mu chiti echo echo kugemebwa no recho, abantu wa ino kumanyanti, obu wa debu no, obu wenka, nabobu lete mwansiri, elabu no webu mkubu onero, 
omuntu okwanti alwadde obulwadde buno omusujja uh, okulumira ku lubuto uh, okudduka embiro uh, uh, okusesema no bunafu obuyinzo kwato omuntu ero rusi abantu uh, okwagala okuliya kubagwa konga ne bateka we nyama techa kuomera ne bateka we chenyanja tochetaga songa buli kamuka akuitako gamu akobakalete kale bakale ne akatoga sichetaga kale chitegeza oyinzo okubango ine chizibu obulode buno obwenkaka ekirunji kye kino bakube mpisemu ne kugema obulamu bubonna uliriza kino mpiso emu mpiso emu obulamu bubonna kino no chikuru kigenda kolebwa mu bifonga bino amakanisa emizikiti amasomero ebifo uh, uh, ebya ku district uh, bus parka bayinzo kujira ku bus parka wanga tunalinya bayinzo kuba mwaka akaiso uh, emiyalo obutale erane ku boda za fe kale njagala okusaba ababuli zibenjiri bonna nsaba mwogere ku rwadde buno makanisa ne matende kirogonna alina abantu okutegera nti empiseri emu ekubibwa obulamu bubonna mbagaliza pasika inunzi mulinyala kitaffe no mwana no mwemukuru Thank you so much, Your Grace, for that message. I request that we sit and we be entertained by the band, the Boys and Girls Brigade, First Mango Company, and they are going to sing Because He Lives, and that is our theme. And we thank you, Your Grace, for preparing breakfast for your media evangelists. This is going to be...
Let us appreciate the band for the great work they have done. Thank you very, very much. I was talking about health issues. Uh, I want to remind men and women that uh, Mango Hospital is, is offering these services as well, which is very important. The first hospital in Uganda, which is Mango. You know, every first, first thing begins with us. Mango, the hospital, and Mango, the school. So you can go there and be helped. May I request the media evangelists uh, to stand up? Uh, oh, they are st already, st others are st seated. Uh, and also the band and every one of us, let us stand up for the benediction. Father, bless you so, so much for this morning and for the gift of life. Thank you, Father, for the assurance that because you live, we can face tomorrow. And also to remind us that death is no longer having the last word. The last word in, is in thee. Jesus, he rose from the dead and he conquered death. Death was killed on the day Jesus died. Good, Good Friday is the death of death. And so we have hope in him who killed death and he rose from the dead. And so, Father, be with us, be with all Ugandans, be with all our people all over the world who are celebrating and also be with those who are admitted, be with those who have lost their dear ones. Father, take care of them. And right now, remember the family of uh, uh, Joyce Zilibagwa, who passed on to glory, the family of uh, Professor Michael Senyimba, and others. Father, I pray that you comfort them. Be with every one of us and minister to individuals who find no hope. And now I pray for evangelists, media evangelists. I pray for orphans. I pray for widows, widowers. I pray for the sick. I pray for the prisoners, those in prison, minister to them. Those in the war zone, be with them. Those who are affected by the environment and the climate change, be with them. And the peace of God which passes human understanding keep you in the knowledge of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ. The blessings without sorrow of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit rest upon each one of you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Give God a mighty hand clap. Thank you so much, Your Grace. As we come to the end of uh, the live broadcast, from uh, UBC Television, we request the band to pray for us one last tune as they phase out.